What's going on guys, True here bringing you another review on Goddess, or well, Mother of the Goddesses Dormitory. This episode was honestly kind of fun. Honestly, we get to see a new girl appear, and I gotta say, not bad overall. Tits galore, let's put it that way. But before I continue guys, please make sure to subscribe, like the video if you guys do, check out the, con uh, the, the channel if you like other content, and be sure to comment on all things that you are interested in joining this family but let's get right into it so we see that and it's another day for koshi just to try to get used to this lifestyle he's been two weeks he's having to call atena uh, big sis she enjoys that and we also get to see a little bit of what's bothering him internally we actually notice that he starts to miss being in school he starts to reminisce you know he enjoys his life he likes the fact that he's able to be in was being in the home again he's you know cooking and doing all kinds of responsibilities you know and it, it, it all seems to be working out for him it's just that he misses being in school and it's understandable he's a he's a middle school guy you know he's he's in a situation where he's been away from everyone that he was close to and so you know it's understandable that he misses this and the girls are actually you know wondering who he should be calling big sis and so it was funny to actually watch how the girls are starting to like all be really close to him but we see how like every one of them individually competes and in trying to gain him to say big sis which was fun to watch we see that Every one of them has different tactics, you know, we see that you know, he gets to be dressed up as a girl, which was kind of funny to watch. Now, uh, the other ones we see, you know, like uh, Minoru, she wants to, you know, use him as like a lab rat. We see uh, the other one, you know, trying to just lay on him just like a pet. And overall, you know, it's, no one's really making an impact on him, which is funny. Uh, you know, they're all different and they all have different ways of doing this but uh, i guess the funniest one it was of course atina's which she's like trying to get him to like wake up because he was knocked out because of kitty's uh, methods uh, which was funny to watch uh, I don't know, i'm not gonna show an image because you know you guys anyway <laughs> we see that she actually tries to wake him up it doesn't work very well in fact i, I don't even understand why he did what he did but we see that he moves his hand and he, um, let's put it this way, he disrobes her, uh, which was funny. Uh, but after all the nonsense passes, we actually have him getting news from Minoru and saying that he is able to go to school and he's elated. He is very happy to hear this news. They fixed the paperwork, everything. And so basically you know these girls care for him that much that you know he wanted this and you know they're all happy for him and so we actually get to see him for in the next part of this episode going to school and we see a mysterious girl i guess you could say watching over him and we see his reactions at going back to school he's actually very happy we see that he's excited about even seeing the shoe locker everything and then we see him getting kicked by what is a new Sundere character joining the cast. That is uh, Sue, I mean, uh, Stea, sorry, Stea, which is an unusual name. It's not a name that I actually ever hear in animes. Uh, I could be completely wrong. But we see Stea being very Sundere, being, saying the opposite of what she feels. She's cared for him ever since they were young. In fact, when they were in preschool, she actually, I mean, he was actually her first friend. He looked out for her. You know, she has a condition where she would, I don't know if it's real or not, but she easily gets overheated. She doesn't like to be touched. It just makes her feel uncomfortable, which, I, you know, I guess is understandable. But we see that she actually it tries to avoid him. And he makes every effort to try to, I guess, come clean to her. And for a while, we see him getting distracted by other students, a teacher. He does manage to get to her while she was reminiscing on the rooftop. He does make her, like, realize, you know, that they can still be close, you know. And 
we actually see a little moment be here between the two in the infirmary where he they actually ac accidentally excuse me get on top of each other which was fun to watch we see that she regains her sense of i guess control or whatever and knocks him out uh but we see them i see her actually following uh koshi back home and she's interested to know where he lives you know at first it's like do you have anything to hide you know and he has stuff he's like no 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 i have nothing to hide but then he rem remembers that these girls are unique and so now she actually sees the girls firsthand and her reaction is pr pretty hilarious so overall a good episode the introduction to this new character i can already see people probably loving this girl but honestly it's fun to watch i enjoy it but let me know what you guys think i'd love to know your thoughts as always though guys stay safe take care of yourselves and others and i'll catch you later